This is the true story of a man. Take him away. Who spent 24 years behind bars. He'd been betrayed by his best friend. For a murder he claims he did not commit. A witness who lied in court and a series of extraordinary confessions by another man. I hope his name is cleared before he dies. Examine the facts for yourself. Rough Justice, The Price of Friendship, Wednesday at 10.30 on BBC One. This is BBC One for the Midlands. Good evening. Armed police officers have arrested a man in Gloucester during an investigation into allegations of firearms offences and making threats to kill. It follows an incident earlier this month in Worcester, where another man is already under arrest. The 33-year-old man was arrested at the weekend in a quiet street near Gloucester city centre. His car was stopped by an armed response unit from Gloucestershire Police acting on behalf of colleagues from Worcester. This came out of my front door and um, there was a policeman with a gun. Um, there was um, a big police car there, a car sandwiched in the middle, and another police car the other side and they were just screaming at this man to get out of the car and lie on the floor. The man was taken to Worcester Police Station for questioning and later released without charge. He's due to return here on Thursday. The Worcester man who was arrested three weeks ago has already appeared here before the city's magistrates to be charged with firearms and related offences. He was released on conditional bail. Giles Latch and BBC Midlands today, Worcester. A Birmingham family identified as nuisance neighbours have been saved from eviction by the same residents who'd campaigned to drive them out. The family from Stedgeford have been the subject of complaints about antisocial behaviour. Legal proceedings for eviction began last month, but now neighbours have appealed to the council to give them another chance. From hatred to harmony, Linda and Mark Coley and their five children reunited with the neighbours who'd campaigned to get them evicted. I'm relieved in a big, big way that uh, they, the neighbours have come with me and helped me along the line now. So, really pleased. I'm so emotional at the end of the day. Neighbours felt so sorry for the family, they begged the council to give them one last chance. Well, we had our disagreements, but uh, we spoke about it. Um, all the Grove decided to give them a second chance. At first I disliked them. I really wanted to have a go at him, but it's changed all together now. The council eviction notice is live for 12 months and could be reactivated. The Coleys know it's up to them to keep the peace. Nick Watson, BBC Midlands Today. A man has been found dead in a cell at Stafford Prison. The 26-year-old, who hasn't yet been identified, was found hanged. A full investigation is now underway. Around 24,000 passengers used the new Midland Metro light railway system on its first day today. There were teething troubles, though. At West Bromwich, vandals smashed a window, showering passengers with glass. And a tram was delayed in Birmingham for almost an hour after a technical fault. Hundreds of people flocked to Birmingham's Cannon Hill Park today for the Lord Mayor's show. The highlight was the human pyramid formed by the Royal Artillery Display Team. It was performed for the first time ever with a person with disabilities taking the top position in the pyramid of motorbikes. A Staffordshire woman who's protested against the culling of pigeons has decided to adopt 50 of them. The birds have been the target of environmental health officers in Leek Town Centre. Cynthia Lubach, an animal rights campaigner, is providing them with food and shelter. Feed the birds, tuppence a bag. To many people, they're nothing but pests, but Cynthia Lubach goes out of her way to encourage them. Five pounds a week is spent on food, and even her washing line has been sacrificed. I just see this as a tiny, a very tiny way of redressing all the cruelties that the human race, the human species, inflicts on other species. And instead of culling them, she wishes local councils would show some compassion. Until then, she's happy to provide food and shelter herself. Philippa Hudson, BBC Midlands Today, Staffordshire. Let's take a little look at the weather now. And it'll stay dry but rather cloudy this evening with some clearer spells. Temperatures falling to around 9 Celsius. Tomorrow we'll see another cloudy star, but it will eventually brighten up to give some afternoon sunshine with temperatures reaching 19 Celsius in a light southeasterly breeze. That's it from us. I'll be back with the late news at 10 to 11. Enjoy the rest of the bank holiday. Bye-bye. China.
What's happening? Earthquake. Middle East. Unstable. Team biscuits. Five minutes. Four. Why don't the Yankees buy that nice new doy from Dundee? I'm sorry to disappoint you, but uh, he's not for sale. With half a million pages of content, Europe's largest source of useful online information is BBC Online. So, Tony, what do you want to know? <laughs> Two hours ago, a helicopter ditched to the North Sea. When their world falls apart... Defend a body. I need answers as quickly as possible. Loss of life on this scale can shake even the most experienced. One woman picks up the pieces. Our first priority is identification. I want to see him. Can I see him? You're talking about mid-air structural failure. Ultimately, all we can offer these men and their families is the truth. Silent Witness. New feature-length drama, tonight at 9 on BBC One. Bank holiday comedy in just over 20 minutes on BBC One. Paul Hogan's bending the commandments and trying to work miracles. An angel, almost. Now on BBC One, it's all very tearful. The crack. That boy is really starting to suffer now. Matthew is an accomplice. I bet he dumped Steve right in it. And it was definitely manslaughter. Don't start that. That <laughs> Teresa. I told you that Teresa would prize it out of him. Well, she is a woman. <laughs> I mean, what's he about? Why doesn't he do something? Like what? Confront Steve? Oh, because if Steve finds out about the tape, he'll be burying Matthew in the woods as well. Ah, and Teresa's brother. He used to be a policeman too, you know. He finds out Matthew will have some real talking to do. As if I don't already. Oh, EastEnders, everyone's talking about it. An hour-long visit to the square tonight here on BBC One. Shocking news for the Jackson family. And Ian's back with a surprise for Melanie. It's all happening at 8 o'clock. We all have our peculiarities. Yet we all have something in common. Television. It's only TV, but I like it. Thursday, 10.05, BBC One. <laughs> Heaven sent now on BBC One, or at least that's what he thinks. Paul Hogan is almost an angel. <laughs> 